It is a perfect night for baseball by the shores of Lake Ontario. Tonight at Rogers Center, game one of an important interleague matchup between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Chicago Cubs. We'll start in the AL East. Toronto, seven games back of the Orioles for the division, but they're in the final wild card spot in the American League right now. In the NL Central, the Cubs were eight and a half back on July 21st. They are now within arm's reach of the division lead. And Jose Barrios will have to deal with him and the rest of this loaded Cubs lineup. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing Jose Pinch. Jose Orlando, when he's right, he uses his sinker and his slurve, and it's a pretty deadly combination. Talkman has been a great hitter out of the All-Star break, batting 364. Talkman lifts one to left field, Whit Merrifield underneath it, and one down. There's Nico Horner, who's hit safely in his last three games. Horner lifts one, deep left field, Merrifield turns around, watches it leave the yard. Nico Horner starts the scoring tonight, a solo shot to make it one nothing Chicago. Well, this gives you such an example of why the Cubs have been a thorn in pitcher sides. Nico with two strikes, he just grinds down Jose. Half, a soft line drive into right, and a one-out single to bring up perhaps the hottest hitter in all of baseball, and that's Cody Bellinger. Bellinger, high and deep to right, going back Springer to the wall. His 18th home run of the season, it's 3-0 Chicago. And with Marcus Stroman injured, if Javier Assad getting another start for the Chicago Cubs. Whit Merrifield, Brandon Belt, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Whit Merrifield bounces one to short, Swanson one away. Here's Brandon Belt, the Blue Jays' designated hitter. Strike three. Yeah. Strike three indeed, says Pat Hobart behind home plate. Brandon Belt frozen. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. steps in. Guerrero off the hands to short. A couple hops hits Swanson to end the inning. Three up, three down for Javier Assad. The Cubs already out to a 3 0 lead. Ball for DiBiggio. Nice at bat. And the Blue Jays have their first base run. Matt Chapman will stroll up. And Chapman sucks one up the middle for a base hit. We'll see if the Blue Jays can continue to pass that baton, as it were. Bring up Alejandro Kirk. Kirk, fly ball to right. Suzuki, two away. Two on, two down in the second. Dalton Varsho, the left-handed batter, stares out. Varsho, rounds one to second. And that will end the inning with the Blue Jays stranding two. One down here in the third. Nico Horner gave this game its first score. Hard hit ball in the left field for a base hit. Nico's second hit of the game. That'll bring up Bellinger once again. Two-run blast into the Cubs' bullpen. On a changeup, yeah. first pitch changeup, that is just crazy. Warner takes Good. off, and there's no throw from Kirk as he dropped the ball on the transfer. Bellinger, a line drive in the air that is caught by Merrifield to end the inning. And the Cubs strand a base runner for two and a half. Still 3 0. As we begin the top of the fourth, Dansby Swanson will step to the plate. Swanson, first pitch swinging, a ground ball to shorts. And the young with the throw. Is off the glove of Guerrero. This is a weird play. I don't know if it broke Guerrero's glove. Oh, Vlad just, just missed it. Here's Jamer Candelario. There goes the runner. Candelario, base hit in the right. Swanson rounds second and heads to third. Candelario with a base hit here. The Cubs have met at the corners. Barrios up to 64 pitches facing Seiya Suzuki here. Suzuki drives one to left and that'll bounce into the corner. Swanson scores. Candelario being waved around third. Here comes the relay. It will be cut off. A two-run double from Seiya Suzuki, and it's 5-0 Chicago. That leadoff error has now been costly as that run scored, and so did the guy behind him. Let's see if Talkman can add on to the lead. It's Talkman with a soft line drive that drops for a base hit. Suzuki around third, and he scores to make it 6-0. And Talkman indeed does add to the lead. It's six to nothing Cubs over the Blue Jays here in the fourth. Kevin Biggio at the plate. Line to left field, that's down for a base hit. It's keep coming for Kevin Biggio. Chapman with a bouncy ball to third. Candelario cuts it off. So Chapman with a ground out. Biggio gets to second, two away in the fourth. One ball and one strike on Alejandro. There's a base hit for Kirk. That 
will get the Blue Jays their first run of the game. Kirk with a bloop single, and Rogers center comes to life. It's 6-1. Blue Jays will lead it off with Matt Chapman against Javier Asai. Although this first pitch to Chapman is flying right at Mike Talkman. He barely had to move. Alejandro Kirk steps in. It's a pop-up to shallow right center field coming in Suzuki. He's under it and two away. Dalton Varsho digs in. Varsho hits one in the air down the left field line giving Chase Happ slides. Did he make the catch? He did in foul territory. An outstanding sliding catch right near the sidewall by Ian Happ. Blue Jays go down in order in the seventh. We head to the eighth. Cubs up six to one. Yeah, here's Dansby Swanson to lead off the eighth inning for the Cubs. That's a oh. nice play backhanded by DeYoung on the short hop. And he makes the throw in time. Well, they brought DeYoung over here primarily for his defense, and he just showed it off there. Brendan Belt will dig in. Belt gets a hold of one. Deep center field. Talkman going back to the track. Nobody finds the sweet spot better than Brandon Belt over the high wall in right center field is 11th of the season. The Blue Jays are back on the board trailing 6-2. to two. Owls alive, the right-hander, making his 45th appearance of the year. There you go, there's that slider. And Springer looks foolish with that swing. One down, here's Kevin Biggio. Biggio strikes out. But the odds are stacked against them now. Toronto down to their final out. Two down, bottom of the ninth. Cubs up 6-2 to two on the road in Toronto. Kirk puts it in the air. Tuckman is there, and the ball game is over. The Chicago Cubs with a comfortable 6-2 victory over the Toronto Blue Jays. These guys are playing good. I mean, they came in Toronto. Toronto just had a really nice road trip. They're still not scoring at the level the Blue Jays are expecting. So that's a bit of a concern for their offense. They need to get it going.